So Microsoft just announced that they are integrating ChatGPT or a newer version of ChatGPT actually into the Bing search engine and it is available now. So I thought I just wanted to bring you along for my first impressions of this. So I guess let's just head over to Bing. So this is now the new interface of uh, Bing. If you can see in the top corner here we have something called chat. So Let's just click on that so you can see I'm on the waiting list so I don't have access. We're going to take a quick look at that but we also have this ask me anything box. Let's try one of these ideas. So let's do plan me a workout from my arms and ab with no sit-ups and no gym equipment. It will only take 30 minutes so let's try that. So you can see we still have the, um, the search bar in the left here. That's like the normal Bing. But on the right here we have, let me try to zoom in a bit. We have this chat box. So this is more like we are familiar with from ChatGPT, right? So these now are trying to create a workout plan for... Uh, so we have dips, we have push-ups, we have a plank, crunches... Yeah, this is writing quite fast. But like, I can't really... Is this preloaded? It's quite hard to tell. It possibly is. Uh, but it really gets... It's, I think it's a good place to integrate this because we you can also use it as a normal search like we once were used to and we can use this as you probably notice we have these uh, citations so i think that's quite important you can see we have citations from youtube actually we have three citations from youtube we have one from masterclass.com and we can also click so let's try to click one of these so let's click this one that takes us over to the website where it took the content from, right? And here you can see there's a YouTube video too. So yeah, I like that. I think that's very important. So now you can cite your sources. That's a very good uh, inclusion. Very interesting. So I think if we go over here, so this is more of the chat interface, right? You can see on the left here, we have something called try this creator prompts. So let's click on tweet here. So, hello, this is Bing. Here's a tweet I wrote for you. So proud of my sister who graduated from university today. Okay, so here is our prompt. So our prompt is write a tweet celebrating my sister's graduation from university. She's a 35 year old mom who aced her degree while juggling her job, marriage and motherhood. So let's see what it wrote there. So proud of my sister who graduated from university today. She's a superwoman who managed to excel in her studies while balancing her job, marriage and motherhood. She's an inspiration to me and many others. Congratulations, sis. And it added some emojis. And it added graduation, sister goals, supermom. Okay, so that's cool. This is probably preloaded, but anyway. Uh, let's try code. Let's see what that does. So the prompt is write code. So this is in green. I guess, is that something special? I don't know. To create a tic-tac-toe game in JavaScript. So here it goes. It's quite fast, but again, this could be pre-loaded, pre -loaded, right? We are not sure about that. And we have this, uh, we can copy it, right? That's good. And we have this feedback here. We can share it. So this went on quite far. So I guess we kind of knew that it would uh, do code because we know that from ChatGPT. Uh, but it seemed quite fast. I'm very interested to find out what kind of engine this is because he said on stage that it was... Uh, a newer version than 3.5. Could this be GPT-4? I'm not sure. Yeah, that generated that tic-tac-toe game pretty fast. Uh, I'm not gonna test that now, but I'm pretty sure it works. Write a quiz on mitosis for practice. Provide a detailed answer for each question. So let's try this one. So here you can see, write a quiz on mitosis for practice. Provide a detailed answer for each question. So here's a quiz I made for you. Please answer by uh, typing A, B, or C, or D. So, what is the name of the structure that holds two sisters, chromatis, together in a chromosome? Okay, so we, uh, where is the answers, though? Okay, so this is so you can be tested, right? So you probably have to answer first before you get the, the if you're right or not. Okay, so that, that's quite quite a good useful case. I guess you could do that in ChatGPT too. So, I kind of think that is it. Uh, my first impressions are quite good, actually. I'm quite positive how I like the interface. I like that you see, you can choose like having this on the right here. I like the citations. That is very important for me. If you're doing some research, you kind of want citations, right? And uh, this chat box here, I think it works quite good. But uh, like the, 
the UI. I kind of like ChatGPT better, but um, well, we'll see about that. This can maybe change too. Maybe you can get dark mode. I don't know. But it was just my quick first impression and it's gonna be interesting to say at least. So now I'm really excited to see what Google has to come. I think that is it for my first impression. So thank you for watching. I'll see you again soon.